It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This is day... Actually, I did some Christmassy things on... No. Today's Wednesday is what I'm trying to say when I'm starting this. Technically, the Christmas festivity... Technically, the Christmas festivities... There we go. Did I... Was that, that what I was saying the whole time? They started yesterday, but it was a family thing that I did yesterday, so I didn't exactly want to be vlogging. It was just to catch up dinner. And today... I will vlog as much as I can today, but it is my best friend, Alex. He's organised his netball club to have like an awards night and just like an end of year Christmassy get together so I think we're all going out for dinner afterwards um but it's an awards night at the end of the day like we are getting glam I am not winning any award or anything like that I have just helped Alex out with all of the like design side of things so I've done I created like a presentation and a video and some cards and stuff for people so that's my contribution so i'm not going super super glam i'm not like an attendee as such that's like winning anything so in terms of my hair i'll obviously be showing you outfits there's going to be so many outfits in this video i know i'm going to be posting it kind of after christmas but maybe like new year's inspo or just future party inspo outfit ideas because there's like a couple of super christmasy ones but i feel like at the end of the day like you could apply them to anything so loads of outfit inspo in this video tonight we're going quite classy and elegant and like i said i'm part of the committee technically tonight so nothing not like a fancy updo or anything i think i'm just gonna do like a loose wave and then just it needs to be easy so i'm not faffing because i'm gonna be up and down taking pictures of people so i think i might just do a cute little moment and have my hair behind my back so I'm just going to go over my hair once over with this one from Mark Hill. You guys know, love it so much. Extra long barrel. Because I kind of want them to drop out a bit. I don't want to do like a too big a barrel. And then them just there'll just be no curl whatsoever. So going in with like medium sized barrel. But then I'm not going to brush them out. Kind of like back like this. And just curl these little bits at the front. So I always like to curl away from my face. And then when I get to like the bits right around my face, I actually do curl them inwards. Just to kind of have a little bit more like volume, a little bit more like of a natural looking texture going on. Like around my face, because naturally that is where you get, if you have curly hair around your face is where like because of sweat and just whatever you do kind of get like the more crazy curls like, you can see like mine like I always get like curls up here um so yeah just gonna give that the once over there's gonna be so many like mini getting readies for events within this vlog because I'm taking you along with me to a few things so tonight obviously like I said we've got the awards Tomorrow I'm in London with my London gang. So that's like Sarah Ashcroft, Cece Clark, and my friend Annie, where we're all wearing the SLA Christmas collection. We do it every year and we just have the best time in our, our sparkles. If you know the SLA Christmas collection, you fucking know what's coming. Like, I'm so excited. I shotgunned wearing the red sparkly blazer dress. Um, and we're gonna go to Soho House and then we're going to Leo's, which will be super fun. And like I said, I'm gonna vlog as much as that as possible. Then on Friday, I have so many outfit options on Friday because I can't decide the vibe. So that is where you're gonna see like all of the outfits. I've left everything, links down below. And if it's out of stock, I've linked similar or substitutes. So do not worry. Um, and yeah, just going out for our friendship group Christmas meal. And it's going to be crazy. And like I said, I will vlog as much as that as possible. Although we're probably going to be absolutely steaming. But I think that'll be funny. And my friend Tess and Lucy are coming around before. So we can vlog all sorts. Honestly, I'm just taking you along for a bit of a chaotic Christmas week. But socially just so much fun. So much glam. You guys are going to love it. It's not going to be a Rachel video if I don't mention this at least once, but I just wanted to say I'm really sad that Deal or No Deal's ended. Like, what am I meant to do at 4pm? 
it's back to tipping point. It just doesn't hit the same, you know. I'm making do. But yeah, just giving me hair the once over. So I feel like I'll be back. I'm gonna have a full um, get ready with me. I think I'm gonna film the Sarah SLA night out as a full get ready with me. And um, in this vlog, it'll just be like, they're just quick run throughs, but I just want, I wanted to pick one night where I filmed the whole thing. I thought that one was the most festive. You could use it for New Year's Eve. Like it's gonna be that sort of glam. Um, so these kind of moments, this vlog isn't meant to be like really in depth, get ready, get ready with me is what I'm trying to say. Just crucial parts. And there is gonna be one in depth, get ready with me. And it's probably already gone up, but by the time this is up, so don't even fret and worry. It was the last video that went up before this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna curl my hair. You can see what I'm doing. Just away from my face. This Mark Hill curler is honestly my favorite because you can just change the barrels, but I'm like not gonna brush these out until like maybe the very last moment. Um, so they last as long as possible, but yeah. That's a little update of what this vlog is gonna be and what I'm doing now. So I'll be back when we're like styling it a little bit. All right, this is what we're working with. So like I said, I'm not going to like brush them out just yet. She says, just applying a brush, but I need just the back of my hair just then. Um, I'm just gonna clip my hair back and we can start on the makeup. I'm very excited. My dress is blue to kind of match with the theme. Well, actually Alex is wearing blue and my other friend is wearing blue and we're both kind of, they're both like committee members, I should say, as well as players, but they're wearing blue tonight. So I was like, maybe I'll just make it a thing that the committee players, players, can I speak today? I got too much in my brain. Anyways, I thought I'll make it a thing that all of the people that are in the committee wear blue. So I can't wait to show you my outfit, but let's crack on. And I'm just gonna do my eyes because my base routine would have been included in my last Get Ready With Me, which went up last week. I forgot. I'm filming in a very funny order, you guys. So that's already gone up, but my eyes tonight will be different to I think what I did in that video. And I think these are gorge. So let's do that. I will do a bit of... <laughs> skincare because we are going to put some tape on so i'll just give it time to sink in this is the l'oreal revitalift filler moisturizer if you just need like a trusty moisturizer to go like underneath makeup with skincare benefits and i feel like without it being like too glowy it obviously has like glowy ingredients in it like hyaluronic acid and it's like a plumping water cream so it's just like super hydrating and comfortable on the skin this is such a good one and it's l'oreal so it's obviously relatively affordable so we're just gonna do this that feels so good also you guys i'm trying out a new fake tan and I have to say, this is like with no instant tan on either. I don't even feel like I need instant tan. But I'm trying it out, so I don't want to be like, oh my god, it's amazing, like, just yet in case, I don't know, it fades really funny. But so far, so good. I'm loving it. And I'm feeling bougie, so let's go in with a little bit of C Tilts Magic Serum. And I am, I think I've said this previously, really loving doing like skincare and priming and stuff like with my fingers. I just think it really just gets all the collagen and blood pumping in my skin and just, I don't know, my makeup always looks better rather than just going straight in with a brush. Okay guys, it's the tricky part. The tape. A lot of you guys ask me, like, am I using a specific tape? Not really. It's um, scotch tape, which I find just is way less harsh on the skin. It's that, like, translucent tape. Um, my eyes tonight are going to be quite basic. I can't lie. I'm going to do something really weird. I'm going to just, like, go all over with, like, a warm brown. Like, orangey brown. 
Is that straight? Is it straight? I feel like it is. This one may be a tiny bit higher, but I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it and just slick up my brows before we conceal the eye. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with a warm brown, like all over the lid. Then go in with a silver sparkle. Cause my dress is like blue. So I feel like warm and cool tones kind of go. And my earrings are like gold plated, but they're silver diamond. So I thought let's just go warm on the eyes, but with like a silver sparkle. Let's just see how that turns out. Anyways, let's conceal the eyes. Let's use a little bit of NARS Soft Met Creamy. Whoa, that mirror's day. I did actually um, tint my brows the other day. And I do find just tinting your brows sometimes can make such a difference in like how quickly it takes you to like fill in your brows and just the like yeah just like with helping with the color of them and stuff i just got the um like i think it might be from schwarz schwarzkopf you know just on amazon i typed in like dark brown eyebrow tint because i can't find my old one but i'm pretty sure it was that one Ooh. I like this brush. I don't normally apply it with this, but it's actually really good. It's like a Sigma Shayla. It's just like a flat synthetic brush, but it's really like not picked up loads of product. Cause sometimes when I like carve out my brow, I feel like it leaves like a really thick residue sometimes like right under my brow and I don't like that look. Um, so that was actually really good. I'm glad I used that. Let's just buff that in. And take a little bit more and just put that all over the lid because we want to give ourselves a nice blank base. But I also don't like it when my like eye base is too bright. So I've been really liking to set it with the Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade 2. Just set that. This is honestly gonna be like the quickest eye look you guys have, like ever seen. I don't, I really don't spend like too, too long on my eyes. I do, I was, who was I talking to about it the other day? Can't remember, but I was talking to someone being like, God, when I used to get ready to go out, like the way I would spend like 45 minutes on my eyebrows with like an Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow, like it was that, deep you know i'm thinking i'm going to use like these two this is made by mitchell bronze book you guys know i love that for eyeshadows but i'm thinking i might go in with the shade like flicker all over the lid or like a little bit of flicker mixed with like ignite like i want it to be quite like a all over color dark eye and i feel like if i'm going in with the silver sparkle obviously we're going to use drip drip it might sort of, if it's too light, I might like lose the warmth. I don't want to lose the warmth. So we're going to go in with the lid color first. I think let's mix a bit. I may instantly regret, but we move. I do kind of want this to be like quite sultry, you know, because my dress is quite sultry. You'll see it in a minute when I'm getting dressed. Also, that it's very likely my doorbell is going to go like a couple of times and it's going to scare the absolute shit out of me. So pretty warning to you guys. Yeah, like that sort of like warmth all over the lid and then just taking ginger biscuit to diffuse that out. And also sometimes I find when you go in with the lighter crease color anyway, it tends to soften up the lid shade as well. But honestly, you guys, like that is gonna be it. <laughs> as well as when we do, we're gonna do a smoky wing. I reckon, um, no, that's a lip liner. Where's my, like, ooh, I do you know what I did get? Where is it? Where is it? Here. I got this from Victoria Beckham. It's like a sparkly, oh my God, maybe I'll put that in the waterline, but I always tight line with Make a Toast. But yeah, let's just quickly even myself up here. Okay. We are even Stevens. I'm gonna just take a dark brown. Let's just take Golden Gal from the bronzer palette. 
small fluffy brush this time and this is the good thing about tape you can really just like lean into it and diffuse it so we can do something like super soft to start off with and then we can build up we want it to be like a bit darker I don't know how dark I really want it to be to be honest I always wait to do the sparkle afterwards because I feel like sparkles can sometimes like come off so I'd rather that was like the last thing to go on the eye and I kind of don't like it to be super neat when it comes to sparkles you know me I like a little dust of a sparkle so we are just like this currently I think I will build up the color I'm gonna take smolder from that sorry I didn't even say what that palette was it was the Sosu by Suzanne Jackson hot fire remastered eyeshadow palette just like really at the base of it like that and that's gonna be it minus the tight lining that we're gonna do and the sparkles but yeah don't want anything too crazy like i said i'm not like a guest as such in the sense of like winning an award so i don't want to be I probably will be the most glam there because it's me and it's a sports awards therefore I don't want to like go too crazy okay now let's go in with the silver sparkles am I going to regret the silver we'll see but yeah I'm just taking a little bit of drip drip such a staple this time of year in terms of just like eye looks and everything it just is so gorge and i like to take a fluffy brush because that therefore is going to stop me going too ham i feel like a lot of people may want to like swipe it on their eye that's really not the way how i like to apply it i like to just like tap it on so it's really just like a dusting still pretty and sparkly when I look too far that side let's just diffuse that out with a brush okay I think that's kind of the vibes that we're going for I need I need to purchase the XL drip drip you know and just have that like all over my body but now I'm just gonna curl my lashes put some lashes on show you the finished eyes and I will jump to the finished skin because you can go and watch my get ready with me from last week where I went all in depth of the base because I'm pretty sure that the base I used in that video is like this is me testing it for the first time now so whatever I did in that video it's tried and tested and it's the best ever and it's about to be what's on my skin in a minute but anyway eyes first okay you guys these are the finished eyes they're perfect i actually think i might put this in my waterline by the time this goes up i've already given it tough christmas my mum asked for some victoria back and beauty for christmas she'd seen a sparkly eyeliner not in this color but it made me want to like get it it's basically like a dark brown with glitter never tried anything from victoria beckham and they had some really cute bits so maybe we'll put that in the waterline anyway these are the eyes as you can see i just highlighted my inner corner um do you want to guess what lashes these are? Because you probably can. They're the Ekin Subi Perfect one. At this point, I feel like I've never seen her promote these. And so it should have been, these should be mine. <laughs> My collaboration lashes. Because I am ride or die for these lashes. They are so good. I don't think I've ever seen her talk about them. Anyway, I'm doing my base. Told you, go back to the other video and we'll be done. And you will see. Right, you guys, the glam is done. And I actually don't think... I'm gonna do a gloss I'm gonna bring a gloss but just in terms of like ease of things I think my eyes are like enough what do you think we'll just leave it like this for now by the end of this video I'm sure I'll put a fucking gloss on let's be honest maybe I need to give it a rest with that otherwise I'll run out of it soon Right, anyway, it's time to finish off the hair and get dressed and show you the end result because then I've got Alex like panicking and fretting. I need to get going. So let me show you my outfit. You're going to really love my outfit. I'm not bringing my vlog camera, but I'm just vlogging my, out my outfit. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I'm about to get an Uber now in case the traffic's bad. Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, see you later, bye. Guys, this is the fit. Alex hasn't seen it yet. Oh God, you can really like see me in the mirror. This is not good. Let me turn it around. <laughs> Look at what I was using as a tripod. These are Pringles from my grandpa. So actually, let's put those away. But this is the dress. When I tell you, this is the like most flattering, she kissed like sort of, I don't know, it's giving corporate, which is what I wanted. It's from Revolve. I'll leave it links down below. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but when I say it just makes, like, I just feel like it makes such a difference when you buy like a high quality dress in terms of like the fabric, the fit, the quality. These shoes are like from a brand called like Lindsay. I feel like it's a bit of a like tacky brand, but I just needed pointy court shoes that weren't slingbacks. I have my Zara slingbacks hurt my feet so much so I just needed something that like tied around my ankle and these were the quickest and I think that they look nice this is the glam and the hair but priority now is just helping Alex set up and getting along with the awards so whatever I can vlog for the rest of the night I'll vlog for the rest of the night but I'm so happy with the way this look turned out and Alex always loves it when I'm super glam, so I'm sure he'll be happy too. Anyway, Alex, if you're watching this, so proud of you. I know before it's even begun that the night is going to be a massive success. And thank you for letting me be a part of it. And let's just enjoy ourselves this evening. Bubbles and lychee martinis are pending right now. We're just running through everything. One, two, three, pretend you're having a great time. Woo! Guys, the presentation went really well. There's music on in the background, so I'm talking super fast. We're out for dinner now. Hi, Missy. We're out for dinner. So proud of you, Alex. But yeah, we're enjoying the rest of the we night. Love you, Alex. Love you, Alex. I've just had my recovery shower. Oh, the way I like barely slept last night, did not sleep well at all. And we're off to London this evening. But last night was such a success. I'm sure, I don't actually think I got too many, too many clips of anything because I was on my phone having to do other things for, oh shit, let's not forget deodorant. Um, it was such a success. I actually, we went out afterwards. I felt so fucking sick. Alex bought me a shot. And you know, like if you've been drinking like Prosecco and wine all night, and then you go and you, you change, you change alcohols. And I had a shot and that was the final straw. I was like, I feel sick. So I came home. I am so hungry. I've ordered a recovery Nando's. I feel like Nando's isn't too bad. I always, I'm, I'm not even gonna tell you my Nando's order because it's so, it's so boring and plain. And yeah, like I'm not, I don't care for anyone to judge me about it. It's really boring, but I have ordered the mac and cheese. I've been seeing so many people talk about it and so hungry. I was like, if now, if there was any time to try the mac and cheese, it is now because it's either just gonna slap or it's not praying that it slaps because I really need this food right now for fuel because like I said we're in London this evening coffee required ASAP we've got the goods let's see do but you can now order a side of chicken like just grilled chicken so sometimes because I get chicken butterfly if that's not enough then what the hell did I order um yeah you can get like a side of chicken as well which just means extra chicken for like a little bit cheaper do you know what I mean so I've got chicken butterfly gorge stevie's gonna be yeah, I get me for it. Right, got this, got my... <gasps> okay, here we go. 
that was close. Mac and cheese, and it's got like a garlic, like crumb. Oh, oh. Oh my God, that is so good. Okay, yeah, you definitely need to get that. But yeah, I've got my two lots of chicken. It's not the same as the chicken butterfly, really just be chicken coated in whatever sauce you may like. I guess salad and creamy mash. Because like I said, I'm not trying to be too unhealthy with this, but I need some comfort food right now. And a little bit of halloumi. Halloumi, chicken, mash, salad, mac and cheese. It'll do, love. It'll fucking do. Why is it covered in like seeds? Better not be nuts. That'll do, that'll do. Oh, guys. That'll fucking do. This better recover me because soon. Oh my God, it's 12 o'clock now. I've got to be in central London for six. So probably a train at like just after five. Which means we've only got a few hours before we start getting ready again. So let's pray this doesn't send me into a food coma. Because I really, like I said, <laughs> need the energy to prosper. Look, you guys, I'm hydrating. I'm iced coffeeing, and that's a triple shot coffee. It is time to get ready for London, and I am so excited. I think that's what's like brought me back to life. I have just had a 45 minute nap, I can't lie. And it's done bits. It sorted me out. It wasn't too long, but it was long enough. Um, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I've obviously got my outfit there. Do I or do I not red lip it? And the thing is, is by the time that you're watching this video, the get ready with me will already be up for that full look and I'll have made the decision. Just can't decide because it's red and sparkly. Like, is that going to be like too much? Like, do I just let the dress be the moment and maybe do like sparkling eyes? And a nude lip but then sometimes I think a red lip's actually easier to keep on throughout the night because if it's just matte it just kind of stays I don't get like too crazy that it like goes everywhere so we'll see anyway I know you guys are gonna love this look but like I said I filmed this as a full get ready with me already gone up literally last week the power of editing eh so don't stress on this makeup because the next time you see me in this log vlog i'm gonna be fully ready to go and just yeah showing you the outfit before i head out but yeah the full get ready with me has gone up okay i've gone into depth about everything and where everything's from and i have linked everything like down below in this video anyway but in terms of makeup that is all linked and listed down below in the previous video i was more just wanting to show you what i'm wearing giving you a little bit of inspo and take you along with me for the nights out for this video just finished this get ready with me you guys gonna die anyway by the time this goes up it's already up so you can go and watch it but right off to soho house where sarah is gonna see us all in this for the first time i even said it in the get ready with me but she showed me this dress the longest time ago being like rachel you're gonna need this it was basically made for me i'm just gonna go ahead and say that so i can't actually wait for her to see me in it but right i'm on time time to catch my train head to soho house and then we're actually going to leo so i can say we're going to leo so this is definitely right vibes guys we are on the night out oh hello in our sla outfits sorry i forgot to say we were going to soho house and you can't film in there so technically the night's beginning now and we're off to leo's hopefully the services are right. yeah, no, 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 no. reset because it wasn't great last week yeah. but we give everything second chance cc cc's right next to me and then sarah and annie are in front and it's probably gonna be blackout mode from here so apologies in advance from us guys we're on such a good table look at us annie say hi every time i vlog sarah's not here it's like i'm just making it up so yeah look how good the table is anyway drinks on the way as per oh my god thank you sarah's here now thank you sarah for dinner Thank you. 
people in struggle and in strife. But I believe that all that world needs is a little bit more love. So, are you having a good time? The best. I mean, how can you not? You're all amazing. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our Queen Sam! Yeah. 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 I'm currently on the stage and I'm nervous. Oh my god, something terrible has happened to my hair. <laughs> but not well. Speaking. Yeah, we're not well. That was amazing. But wow. we're going back to her house now. So I can't even vlog, so I gotta go. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 I'm not joking, if you struggle to sleep, I hadn't quite realised um, the fabric of my pyjamas was really affecting the way that I slept. I am such a restless sleeper and I used to sleep in like velvet pyjamas or just like, I don't know, regular cotton pyjamas. Sorry, I can't believe I'm talking to you like this when I like this. But these silk pyjamas, I think they're from a brand called Blue Bella. No wonder they're personalised, how cute. <gasps> but silky pyjamas, if you're like a tosser and a turner, they just make sleep so much more undisruptive. I'm obsessed with them. Anyway, I'm taking my makeup off now. I'm going to sleep because I'm... Ew, I'm going to go to bed because... <sighs> Back at it again tomorrow. Crap, I didn't charge my camera. Hi, starting the vlog a little bit differently today, not um, looking like a hungover mess and complaining. I've actually already done my makeup, just not done my lips yet because I'm ready super early. Because my friend Tess is coming around and I'm about to do her skin makeup. And then my friend Lucy's coming around and we're going to have some drinks before our friend's Christmas meal tonight, our friendship group's annual Christmas meal. Um, but yeah, it is half past three. I've got to get Tess at four. So I just thought, while I've got my makeup on and I'm looking kind of presentable, I'll actually try on my outfit options because I have a few. And I said earlier, like, I had a few because I'm not sure what the vibe is. The one I really want to wear, the corset is just, like, so tight that I just don't know if it'll be comfortable. It's all going to be dependent on whether Tess can actually do it up. I'll show you as much as I can of it on right now i can't do the whole thing up but you'll be able to gauge the vibe but yeah just a few variations of things i do really like the dress but let's see i like this one because it's kind of different it's like a cherry colored as you can see like waistcoat and tr matching trousers set from pretty little thing and it's like super comfortable but it is just so cold and I just don't know if I want my arms to be out. And I don't know if this is just like a little bit formal. Like everyone, all of my group are basically wearing like a black skirt and a top of some sort. And like the one that I want to wear is the same. So I'm kind of like, should I just be coordinated with everyone for shits and gigs and like make it a thing or what? But I do like this. And I think this is like really cute for like, I think this would even be cute for like a work Christmas party because it's giving the corporate vibes. And the colour's kind of festive, but the colour is just, like, really gorgeous for this time of year anyway. But, yeah, pretty little thing. And I got them both in a size 14. And I feel like you can't really wear a bra with this. But the 14 is, like, super supportive. But, yeah, I don't know. I do kind of like this one. Now, this is a very strong contender because I just think it's so cute. And I've even got, like, a bow I could put in my hair to, like, I don't know, tie it all together. It's giving Christmas, Christmas gift wrapped. So I do really like this one. It's a very strong contender if the one that I think 
I want to wear it doesn't work out. This dress is from Revolve, like one of their brands on there. Like I said, everything's linked down below if you care. I feel like I'm gonna get loads of questions about all of these. I think this is really cute and I think maybe with just like little black heels, it will look better when I've got a lip on. Obviously I don't have a lip on right now because of what I said earlier. But how cute is this? Really supportive on me tits as well, like, I don't know. I think this could be like really cute and no one will be wearing anything like this. But again, arms are out. It might just be a little bit too formal because we are just going into town, but I just love the bow and I feel like if I was gonna wear this, it's like either now or maybe New Year's, I don't know, but like, this is giving Christmas, but cute. So like I said, very strong contender. And finally, we have this, which is just like a black mini skirt and the corset, like I said, I haven't been able to like do it up because I can't, but I do really love this and I love the fluffy sleeves and I feel like, like I said, everyone's gonna be wearing this sort of vibe. So this is like a safe bet and it does make the girlies look kind of gorge. And we do wanna be looking gorgeous tonight because it's that night of the year where it's like a couple of days before Christmas, everyone's finishing up for Christmas, people come home for Christmas and when you're in your hometown, which is obviously now like where I live, but like everyone comes back and you just see everyone. So you've gotta be looking the best but yeah this is the other options both of these are house of cb it's like a really sculpting mini skirt and just this super fun corset with the fluffy sleeves so i don't know maybe tess and lucy will help me decide later they're the options what's the time oh so yeah who knows this one's just quite restrictive and we are having a sit down meal so when Tess comes and she does it up, I'm gonna have to practice sitting up and down and a bit just feeling a bit too risky, like the zip could low key pop. Then we will, I think the dress with the pink bow is cute. Doing Tess's makeup now. Anyway, carry on. So we're having a makeup break to have. Oh my god, Why are you scared on. of it? It's glued on. No, it's not. You're it's glued be... on. I just can't do it. It's glued on. Do you want me to share? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Not in the cat. No, I need this part nope. of the robe. It's <gasps> gonna be. Why did I go to the window? There we go. See, I'm so fucking strong. <laughs> there we go. Anyway. Lovely. Cheers, love. Guys, look how gorgeous he looks. Oh my god, Tess! Why am I gonna stop crying? No, don't because I, I will completely ruin this no. in like a couple of seconds. To be fair, the next time that you see us both, I'll have some lips on and we'll actually be dressed. And my hair will yeah. be done. We'll and be, I'll be, we'll be properly gorgeous. And then we get completely feral, so off we go. I didn't say it, she did. Cindy Bates is here, the expert pair martini. Yeah. Con connoisseur. 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 So speak it through. Sommelier. You know, it's like two cups of, of vodka. vodka. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah. <laughs> That's so me too, Cap. Yeah. It's like half the bottle's gone. Are you going to do anything there? Yes. Yeah. I need to... Oh, give her a second. Let me see the nails. <gasps> Squeeze. Oh, they're fucking trash. So Who sent me the trash? Me. I just Rachel. said... She sent them and I went foul. Foul. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. Cow. Charming. As yes. always. Is this me? Not me. You. So this is not me. Like, not me. Not mine. You. That's like the fourth foot. Okay. What so is it? The whole thing of vodka. You got some elderflower. I forgot what to make one. So these are based off the cocktails that Lucy so introduced nice. me to at they Sophie's. And I have therefore introduced everyone mm. to. I and literally, my, my other friend Lucy messed with me being like, what's that place we went for those pear martinis? Because I'm taking people from work. I was like, no, Sophie's. I, I, I really chic. Chic. And this is actually. Chic, 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 Sonora. What did you say this was again? It's called Crema. Crema? It's like Crema. <laughs> Pour it into a glass. Okay. Oh, sounds like you've not done enough, baby. Yeah. Huh? Me have. Oh, perfect. No. Top up with bubbles. Oh. Choice. You've got Lucy's giving it some like magic orange aura. Orange rim job. What? What? <laughs> a favorite. zesty, zesty, zesty. zesty. <gasps> wow. Oh, cheers. Well, what about the rest of us? Yeah, well, I'll cut the camera, I'll do the rest. <laughs> I love having short friends. 
I really love having that <laughs> giant not. friend. Well, we'll come down. <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I love that you're looking at the camera, not me. You're gonna have bad sex grabber, you guys. I already do. No. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, yes! That's, that's, a, good one. that's a good one. And I really am getting the orange around the rim. Thank you. That's a special yeah. trick. Okay, guys, went for the oh, top we couldn't get into. I hate you having a white cat. We'll get the lip mower. And it's actually okay. And I think this actually is the better option. We're all kind of matching. We're making our second round of pear martinis, but then we're not having any more because otherwise we'll turn up the meal and be fucked. <laughs> you can actually make a second round of one. Lucy and her sparkly true says, and Tess getting changed. She'll be here soon. Sorry, look at that. It's two knees. Where are you? What? I you am know? your master. You are my master. <laughs> you can actually. Thank you. Ah. See, you know, Tessa's here, Lucy. Oh, right. She's ready now. Oh. Oh. Lucy's taking her out for the day. This is what I mean, so we're all coordinated. But not the My same. My hair's just quite you. bouncy, like I need. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not going to take You'll take one step outside, the wind will blow, they'll all be gone, and you'll be like, why is my hair coming anymore? So you coordinated, but not the same. Lucy, take seven steps back, you tall. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this and not the pink. Anyway, what did you say? Time to get. Floral! Where's my Let's drink? go. Alexia! Oh my god, gorgeous. And now we're on to the blue <laughs> Emily's here. Tess has always been here. Shelly's here. Shelly. 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 I'm Anne Boleyn and breastfeeding. Stop it! Breastfeeding. Now she looks like she's got a... Uh, no. Just the out of you, Tess. Oh, oh. I got a... Brazilian boob lift. I didn't, but I want one. Guys, everyone's here. Everyone say hello. Hello. Because we just did our secret Santa, and the clue is that we had to, yeah, we had to give everyone a bauble. Shelly got me one with Stevie. Okay, basically, Emily does polls for us about our mental health all the time. So this is a bauble that says, how are we feeling? Horny, festive, hungover, tired. I actually feel like oh, I kind of need that. Oh, I, I got one for Steph. Steph, what did you get? A pearl. Because Steph is our little pearl of the group. I love it. What did you get? Fudge. Or I got fudge. Okay, Taylor got some fudge. No. Lucy got an avocado. An avocado. Thanks. Oh, oh. Hello. <laughs> oh my Everyone God. really went all out. Shelly, show us your bubble. Oh, no, your bubble. <laughs> yeah, but not the fry line. Guys. <laughs> She's obsessed with baby Yoda. I'm done. Lucy, what was yours? Ginger! Yes! Yeah. Thank you. What, where are we going? The copper club. We're my off love. to the copper club, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, wow, 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 wow. Anyway, cheers for the day, love you, but also, I'll probably check back in when I'm a wee bit more fat. Hello. Hello. We're in Cobra Club and I don't feel good. I feel amazing. No. <laughs> No, he doesn't. No one. Some, we him. need some more oh. pink and Young toes. Guys. Lift your brows and ready. Three, two, one. That's criminal.
Hello? Hello? <laughs> Anyways. Steve, I'm trying to end the vlog. I told you it was going to be a week of madness and it really didn't disappoint. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. I hope you guys have had an amazing Christmas because by the time this up, I think Christmas would have... What? Christmas would have been and done. I need to shower. I'm actually going to London right now for my family Christmas lunch. Pray for me, luckily I'm not too hungover. I'm just absolutely shattered to be completely honest. Just not feeling fresh, so I need to have that shower that brings me back to life and get myself ready. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this Christmas chaos of a vlog. Oh my God. He's actually just a giant ball of fluff at this point. I have left Hopefully any of the outfits I wore, I've tried to link them down below for you guys because I just, I loved everything that I wore over this Christmas period. I just, I love getting dressed up and I love that this is the excuse to get dressed up, but now I'm not going to be dressed up for the foreseeable. Christmas day is for Christmas jumpers and pajamas. So I'm excited for that. Wishing everyone the best Christmas period possible. And I'll see you guys very soon. I feel like I'm going to need to do something before New Year's, right? This can't be the last vlog of 2023. We'll try and do something. We've got to do a New Year's Get Ready With Me, even though I have absolutely no plans. And, oh my God, maybe this is the last video. If this is the last video of 2023, it's a good one. We've gone out with a fucking bang. I'll try and get another one up, but if not, see you in the new year. Bye.